Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So it would be easy for me to just list my five favorite longevity supplements or supplements, I think, that are going to be big in 2025. But that's going to be full of all kinds of my personal biases. So what I did, like I did last year, was ask AI to scrape through YouTube and the internet and look for the most popular longevity supplements that were mentioned on YouTube and also on blogs in 2024. And then also to predict which ones are still going to be around and gain traction in 2025. So I asked three AI programs for their top longevity anti-aging supplements. I then correlated those results to come up with an aggregated top five. What was interesting was that much the same as last year, the AI answers also had a caveat around the popularity of supplements that can vary and that their effectiveness and safety may not always be supported by robust scientific evidence. I did not ask AI to rank them, just to list them. So for the instant gratification freaks who already jumped past this part and jumped to the end to see what is number one, disappointment awaits them. Now, I also wrote as part of the prompt, write two sentences that describe why each supplement is considered important to the anti-aging feel or anti-aging community. Let's start with the obvious one, NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. Research has shown that NMN does help replenish declining NAD levels in blood, and this is associated with aging, potentially improving cellular function and mitigating some age-related physiological declines. Now, studies to date have shown promising results, indicating that NMN may enhance physical performance, improve metabolic health, and possibly extend lifespan, although far more research is most definitely needed. Next, we're going to talk about senolytics. AI classed these as drugs, even though I specifically asked for supplements. AI defined it as a longevity class of drugs rather than a specific supplement, which are designed to target and eliminate senescent cells. These cells, also known as zombie cells, have stopped dividing, are technically considered dead, but they still ooze harmful materials into our bodies. AI listed both quercetin and fisetin as examples of natural compounds that are being explored for their senolytic properties. Again, AI ignored my request for supplements and did list metformin. This is a drug that is under prescription in many countries around the world. Originally a medication for type 2 diabetes, metformin has now gained attention for its potential longevity benefits. Miles and Tame are two metformin longevity studies. Some researchers believe it may influence aging related pathways to the extent that Brian Johnson of the Brian Johnson Blueprint Project, as part of his huge supplement list, now takes two grams of metformin every single day. Then we've got omega-3 fatty acids. Their potential longevity benefits are chiefly due to their anti-inflammatory and cardioprotective properties. Regular consumption of omega-3 is associated with a reduced risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, stroke, and potentially even some forms of cancer. Additionally, omega-3 fatty acids are believed to support brain health, potentially reducing the risk of age-related cognitive decline and age-related diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, thereby contributing to a longer lifespan and hopefully a longer health span too. Moving on to good old vitamin D, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin. It plays a crucial role in maintaining our bone health and calcium metabolism, which are vital for preventing age-related bone disorders like osteoporosis. Adequate levels of vitamin D are linked to a reduced risk of chronic diseases, including cardiovascular diseases and certain cancers, which are significant factors in mortality and also healthy aging. Remember, the vitamin D is not actually a vitamin. It is a hormone. So like testosterone and estrogen, it's vital we keep our levels up in the sufficient range. So that's the top five. But after correlating the results, number six was so close to number five, I do think it deserves an honorable mention. And we'll see if AI is right in 2025. And obviously, you can let me know in the comments below if you also think I should have included this particular supplement. So the final supplement to keep your eyes open for in 2025 is taurine. Now, last year, this was number 11. So over the course of this year, it's gone down from 11 to number six. Now, it's an amino acid found abundantly in many tissues and has shown enormous potential in promoting longevity through various biological mechanisms. Taurine's role in supporting cardiovascular health is particularly notable as taurine helps regulate blood pressure 
and heart function, potentially reducing the risk of heart disease, a major factor in age-related mortality, as we all know. Now, additionally, taurine exhibits antioxidant properties, protecting cells from oxidative stress, and has been linked to improved metabolic health and also reduced inflammation, all of which are beneficial in slowing down the aging process and therefore extending, hopefully, our lifespan and our health span too. And please remember, if you do buy longevity supplements, talk to a medical professional first, and then also make sure you buy from a reputable dealer that does conduct third-party testing. Now, the big three, as they've been come to known, carry the majority of the supplements I've spoken about today. And if you do buy from them, please feel free to use the code MYNMN at checkout to get between 10 and 15% off. And there are links in the description below to the specific supplements. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. And if you're looking to change or add to your stack in 2025, I hope you found it helpful too. Let me know in the comments section below how you think AI did with this prediction. Anything that you think shouldn't have been on the list or anything you think they've missed out that should have been on the list. But remember, it is actually the top five. As always, I'd love to see your comments in the comments section below.